Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. I'm very into the vlogging at the moment, um, as you can probably tell. Uh, welcome back to a new week. This Monday is officially my first day back at work. And I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really, I said this in the, um, in the vlog when I was coming home. Um, I'm feeling really, I'm craving productivity and then the high you get from being productive and achieving goals i'm really really craving that i've never craved that so much in my entire life so it's kind of making me feel like i need to put in some hard yards for the end of the year and then next year is going to be a really big work year yeah i'm feeling really positive uh i just came to the kitchen to make a coffee and then the doorbell rang and then this showed up perfect timing because we had a couple of nespresso pods left for us to have um, as soon as we got home, but we're starting to run out. So Nespresso, this is a complete surprise by the way. Um, I absolutely love working with Nespresso. They are just one of the most amazing brands I have ever worked with. Um, they sent a little note, Ash, welcome home. Hope you're settling back in and this helps with the post holiday blues. It's so nice. And they must, I'm pretty sure maybe they've seen me talk about it on Instagram and taken note, but Arpeggio, it's got like cocoa notes in it, and Vanillio are my two favorites. Um, and I think this is actually my number one favorite, so I'm really happy I've got two sleeves. Uh, and they also sent over, I think these launched while I was away. Um, these are limited edition, tribute to Milano and tribute to Trista. They're obviously Italian coffee, so I should probably know how to pronounce that. But um, yeah, look at the packaging. Limited edition Nespresso packaging is always so beautiful. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to make a coffee with one of these. Also, we really needed another one of these recycling bags. These are amazing. I'm pretty sure you have to go to an actual Nespresso store to be able to get them when you buy the pods. But you basically fill up the pods from your machine as you go, and then you just seal it up and take it to your nearest post shop, like a New Zealand post post shop um which is amazing and then they just actually recycle them into things like one time they sent me a um swiss army knife um that was made of recycled pods that was really cool so yeah really chuffed about this delivery <sighs> nearly full but this is so satisfying to me i like to give them a good jumble around um so that it's a good mixture but I'm definitely going to go for one of these. Oh, focus. Vanilla pods today. Very, very excited. Guys, I have such a sweet tooth. I can't help myself. just jump on the couch and get a little bit more um cozy and we'll have a little catch up oh it's good to be back it's good to be back at home working my dog is just over here and i'm really happy about it i just look at her in absolute awe and i'm just like oh there's nothing like being at home with your family being with your pets like travel is incredible but it's not what's important in life it's important to a degree i really like that old cliche that like travel is the only thing you can buy that makes you richer i really think that's true the memories that we have from this trip are insane 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 um but there's just nothing like being at home being able to see my grandparents and be with my dog spending all day with my dog is like i'd rather be doing that right now than being in barcelona for the day i really would um i'm really happy and really content it's so nice just as i decided to start talking someone's decided to get the uh the old chainsaw out next door thanks mate love that that's great what have we been up to this past weekend so we got home on friday yeah, Friday 5 p.m. I had a great sleep. Saturday, what did we do? I think I mentioned this in the other vlog. We just went out and had lunch. And then really, the whole entire weekend, so today's Monday, the whole weekend, 
what's she doing the whole weekend i cleaned like you kind of forget when you get home i got home walked into my room looked at looked at all my things and realized there's dust everywhere and liam and i did four loads of washing <laughs> so that's great um the big i can see the chainsaw man the biggest thing I was really thinking about consciously, and I was actually thinking about this before the flight, during the flight obviously, and after the flight, and even still now I'm quite conscious of it, is dehydration. Um, some of the best travel advice I've ever been given is to drink a ton, a ton of water about 48 hours before you fly, because it's actually crazy how dehydrated you get from flying like it is mind-blowing my skin when i come off a flight even when i do all my skincare and drink heaps of water it's still struggling you can see her there oh, she's so cute so i drink a lot of water before the flight and then i'm constantly i always take an empty drink bottle and then you can get the air hostesses to fill it up I'm constantly drinking that on the flight the last three days i've really been drinking a lot a lot a lot of water um, but my skin is still so, so dry and so scaly, like on my face and on my body. I've been using these two the last three days and they've been great. I'm fully moisturized, baby soft skin throughout the day. It's more just like when I wake up in the morning, I need to reapply, reapply the moisturizer and drink lots of water. Um, but these two, so these are the Dove Nourishing Secrets Body Lotions. I have the Restoring Ritual body lotion with coconut oil and almond milk which i love we also have the body wash um in the shower as well which has been really good for rehydrating my skin and then we also have the avocado oil and calendula extract and i'm a big fan of calendula in products because they're really soothing so the skin of my legs has almost felt like quite irritated and when it's feeling a little bit flaky and sore and rough like super super rough i will always use this because calendula is really good for soothing skin so a lot of skin products put calendula in to help soothe kind of irritated red skin i've got a face mask that i use whenever i get like a red flare up on my skin um calendula is amazing so i mentioned this in one of my last vlogs um where i have worked with dove and, and these products are basically inspired by rituals from women around the world which i really love and it's kind of related to all the travel i've been doing and i'm always looking for excuses to celebrate women more so yeah i love that i love that about this the thing about dove which is amazing and i've mentioned this before is that how how much they really genuinely push body positivity and they've been doing this for years they're probably the one beauty brand that have been pushing diversity body positivity cultural diversity all of those things um right from back when we were younger and we would see those amazing dove ads on tv i really love i love both of them but i really love at the moment the calendula and avocado oil just for like the extra sensitive skin it's so soothing i'm going to insert a clip of how dry my legs are at the moment you guys will see in the clip um and then pretty much instantly after i rub quite a, a decent amount of this into my legs you can see the scaliness and the dryness of my skin really almost kind of instantly disappear disappears and it's not sticky it leaves your skin feeling like buttery buttery soft and this one in particular the invigorating ritual body lotion with avocado oil and calendula this has been inspired by central american women they've been using these particular two ingredients together for centuries which is just really really cool and it smells so calming i find the coconut and almond is a little bit more warm it's kind of like something you'd use on a nice wintry day but this is actually quite a relaxing um scent which i really like so this one for when skin's feeling a little bit irritated but this one if your skin is like crazy 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 dry so this one has the coconut oil and the almond milk in it so i find it's a little bit even more hydrating like i probably use this one at night time so that i wake up with softer skin coconut oil and the almond milk actually both of those things are extra extra hydrating so this one is amazing and oh, coconut scent just reminds me of being back at the beach. Coconut and almond milk is inspired by Indian woman rituals, which is also really cool. So I'm really enjoying these two at the moment. I am in desperate need of hydration. So these two and my big bottle, I'll actually show you the bottle I use. She's not that pretty. She's a camelback water bottle. 
but it's so practical um it is so uh, just the quality of it is amazing like it keeps if you put cold water in it in the morning it will still be freezing cold by like 5 p.m the afternoon um so i'm constantly just drinking water from this it's really good drinking lots of water using lots of body lotion to achieve super glowy soft skin because summer new zealand summer is coming and i want to feel soft and glowy i'm back in the kitchen because i'm doing a late lunch i did that thing where i was working i was so caught up with my working and then i realized i hadn't had lunch and it's like 2 30 and i'm actually really hungry um so i'm gonna do avocado toast simple healthy yum oh my gosh it's absolutely raining cats and dogs this is the bread that I'm using. It's so good. It's like the softest bread that just comes in a packet. Um, Plowman's Bakery Country Grains. What's this one? With kibbled grains milled in the South Island. So good. It is the softest, softest, softest bread. It is delicious. I'm gonna mash up some avo. Hopefully I've got some tomato I can use. Olive oil, salt and pepper. Nice and easy. Okay, let's see if this avocado is a goodie. The other one I had the other day was, oh, it's a bit, it's not bad. It's a little bit mushy, but it's not bad considering for a while there, before we left for our trip, the avocados were really bad and really expensive. Liam's first day back at work today, so I hope he's having a good day. I need to give him a call. I mean, it's a lot easier for me to transition back into work because... <laughs> I'm at home with an espresso machine in the warm lounge slash office and I've got it pretty good. Liam was out pretty early this morning so I do feel for him but also the weather isn't great. Mind you we had a few days in London um, and the weather wasn't great so we were sort of we transitioned into the bad weather. <laughs> it was London after all but I really think it's gonna be a bit of a shock to the system him today. I always add a bit of lemon and we have a lemon tree on this property um, and there was well there were a few before I left but they weren't ripe. I came home and there were so many lemons on our tree. It was crazy ridiculous and we we used to buy a lot of lemons um because i like lemon juice and i also like um lemon and my guac so this lemon is from our tree which i love okay fun fact i don't really like butter um i go for the olivani olive oil spread dairy free my absolute fave it is so good um and now i'm just gonna put my avocado on no tomatoes which is sad but um i just added some olive oil because i love olive oil i have an obsession with olive oil it's so good so this is the cobram estate i think you can just get this one from the supermarket it's pretty good though like for something that you put on food to taste rather than in cooking um but yeah oh, avocado toast because i'm lazy bon appetit i'm so hungry I can't even wait to go sit down. I'm just going to eat it right at the kitchen bench. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've also just chopped up some kiwi as my little afternoon snack. I'm still a little bit peckish. Um, kiwi fruit is my favorite fruit at the moment. We actually bought heaps of it when we were away. We just craved kiwi fruit. Because when it's hot, it's just so refreshing. What are you doing? Are you trying to bury something? She normally does this when she's trying to like bury a treat. I don't understand what you're doing, but I'm gonna sit down next to you and eat my snack. on a rainy day doing some work in my slippers <laughs> also got the heater going down there which doesn't make me happy considering it's October <laughs> but I'm very cozy I'm just about to actually start editing this vlog look how beautiful you are I love her little um this is a leather collar sorry I don't want to disrupt her 
So this is a, um, a genuine leather collar from Kmart. It was really cheap and it's cute because it's brown. It just makes you look really cute. Also, while I'm here, my peace lily, Lillian, survived. I asked my mum to keep an eye on her and actually she did, she did a good job. She's drooping a little bit. She doesn't look bad. So if anyone feels like they always kill their plants, get a peace lily because I feel like they can probably survive anything. Also, for anyone wondering, I've updated my blog a little bit since I've been away it's looking amazing my friend Ellerice redesigned my blog just before i left um but it looks great so we've got a life update on here that's a new blog post um this has been up for a little while the northern california road trip i had so many questions about lake tahoe um and yosemite so if anyone's going there in the next year this has all the information in it um i've got my paris vlog up so if you guys haven't seen that definitely check that out you can watch it here on the blog or you can watch it on my youtube channel and then down here i have this really cool little bar in my blog where i add things that i'm really liking at the moment um and i also add the link so if you come on here and you're like oh i like that dress too you can click on it and it will take you to the website which is super cool. I love this dress. Oh my gosh, what has happened? Okay, I've gone through the website and I don't think that dress is available anymore. Maybe it sold out, but Faithful, I think is my like current favorite brand for summer. Look at that, how cute is that? So I'm probably gonna have to update this again with fresher pieces, but yeah, I'm enjoying that. And then I've got my Instagram going across the bottom. I'm just really happy with my blog. It looks amazing. If you're wanting to find a certain category as well, you just come over here to blog and there's a drop down menu. Fashion, beauty, lifestyle, travel. This is the most recent travel blog post. It's it's the New York and Boston post. And it has all of my New York recommendations. Heaps of photos from the trip. Oh my gosh, I loved New York, you guys. It was amazing. These are all food recommendations if you're going there anytime soon. Oh my god, that pizza was amazing. There's my gorgeous boy. Yeah. Everything is here. Everything you need to know. And I'm going to keep um, pushing all of these blog posts out so you guys have all the info about our trip as well as the actual destinations and places we travel to. I have a lot of advice. <laughs> okay, it is 5 o'clock and I am finished for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. Definitely a very chill work day inside. Um, but sometimes it's nice not to do too much while I'm vlogging and just properly catch up with you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give my video a little like so I know that you liked it. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!